Hi guys, my name is Karen. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you are returning, thank you very much for returning this week and sticking around with me. In today's video, I'm going to go over, there is a, a hashtag going around. I think it was started by Sarah of um, Naughty Gnome. And she started this um, My Top 5 Handmade Essentials, which I thought was really fun. I've watched a couple of the other um, Zoe's, uh, their videos on YouTube showing what they've made. And I just thought it was just awesome. So I figured more or less I'd join in since it's for the sewing community, for um, us to show what we've made and what our favorite pieces are. So for me, um, my f I'm gonna start off with my <laughs> favorite piece. Um, I'm afraid I have uh, four or five of the essential pieces. I do not have a bottom, but I'm gonna try and fix that. So I'm gonna start off my top five pieces. The top five, my number one piece, the essential piece is gonna be my shirt, Simplicity 1538. It's my, it's my tried and true. I've made it so many times. I've made spins out, spin off on it. I've done so many things with it. I'd have to say it came in pretty close with another shirt pattern, um, Vogue 8772. I've made these two so many times. They've been my true staple. This one, I think, um, as I go along, I'll insert pictures of what they look like, of which ones I've made and what I've worn. So this one, as I uh, often mentioned, doesn't have darts or anything. It's just a loose fitting shirt that is pretty versatile. You can add stuff to it, um, you know, take stuff off, different pieces to it, like the cuff, the collar, the shirt placket, and stuff like that. This one is more for a dressier fit. Um, I do this one mostly for work. It has darts in the back and darts in the front, a more close fit, and sometimes what I often do is um, do the one A, which is the bow. Um, I sometimes do that one back there, which is just the straight collar. That one particular back there, I wear an undershirt, a black camisole under it, and that's not for work. It's when I'm really going, and I've only worn it once or twice. So, I mean, these are my true staple. My number one um, patterns are my shirt pattern. That's 1538, and that's um, handmade essential number one. Uh, number two is gonna be my essential bottom. Unfortunately, I've only been wearing um, ready to wear bottoms, jeans, slacks for work or dress pants and stuff like that. Um, I haven't done a bottom because <laughs> I'm scared. I've made a mock-up of what it is. I've drafted a pattern copying someone else. So it's actually for me to act, actually cut the thing now and actually try it. I'm gonna get to it. I don't know why I'm so afraid of doing it. There's nothing to it but just cutting it and getting into it and doing it. I'm gonna do a mock-up and then again, do something else. But I'm working on another video for tomorrow. So, and I'm off on Monday, a holiday. So that gives me an extra day to probably play around and see what I can come up with. Um, I'll see, but for right now, I'm thinking of working on this right here. Um, but that's Butterick 6901. I love this so much. It's Purple Bliss one, the shorts here. So I'm gonna work on this for my bottom. Um, let me get my glasses. The way it's styled with the vest, I just truly love it. And on this, it says it's uh, C and it only takes a yard. I can't believe it. It only takes a yard to make this short. So I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna try and make this and see if I can, you know, have a bottom to call my own. Actually something that I've made and that could be worn. I make so many tops and dresses and blazers and jackets and I don't know why I can't make a short or a pants. So I'm gonna get with it. The next one is gonna be my essential layering piece and that essential layering piece for me is gonna be my blazer. That's McCall's 6172. That's McCall's 6172. I love this one and I, I, I like it because, love it like it. I like it because it was a pretty easy make and it was also my 
first attempt at making a blazer. Um, I think um, I've made the gray, I've made the yellow, I've made gray the yellow, I've made the navy, I've made the royal blue, and I've also made that salmon color. Um, so I've made four of these, which I absolutely love. And I think they're great staples, but my favorite one is a yellow jacket. Again, I'll insert pictures of what they look like, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm uh, The other one I'm thinking of making is a Vogue jacket because I've made this so many times. I need to do something else to keep me from just making the same pattern or going bored. The Vogue one I picked up, I think they're more skilled split and different ways of doing it. So I'm going to definitely try that. But this has been my outer, my layering piece. I love this with almost anything. It's good with a t-shirt. It's good with a dress up shirt. It's good with a button down shirt. It's good anywhere. Jeans, slacks, anything. This is definitely my number one layering piece. So I absolutely love it. That's McCall 6172. There we go. And the next one is going to be my essential one piece. I wanted it to be a jumpsuit. Unfortunately, it's not. Again, because of that same bottom issue that I haven't made yet. I've made one, but I can't call it my go-to because I really don't wear it. And I've made it once and I think that it leaves much to be desired in terms of the fitting. So it's not comfy and I don't wear it often. So for me, my number one is going to be Vogue 9299. That's Vogue 9299. And this is my number one simply because every time I make it, it's a different look depending on the fabric i've used this this dress or top depending on how the length as well can be a dress it can be a top but my main thing for this one is view b i think i've made it several times this one i've made this one uh a while back now yeah, and I absolutely love it. When I put the belt on, it's a different look. But yeah, I really love it. It's my number one piece. I've made it in, oh my God, so many times. I wear them all the time. I've made an orange one. I've made this red one. I've made one that looks like a jeans top. I've made a black and white one. Oh my God, there's so many. I've made, I've made this six times and every time I make it, I either adjust the sleeve, the length or something about it. And I, I just love it. So this is what I wear almost every weekend. So yes, I absolutely love this. Again, this is Vogue 9299 and I'll insert clips of what they look like. Either I'm wearing it or it's just on the dress form. And um, my wild card, I have to say it's gotta be Hmm. I was thinking of a bag, a tote that I've made. I love it so much I've made it twice. And I love it to the point that I didn't want to use it. <laughs> it was really a cute bag. I no longer have them, so I can't I can't say they're my essentials, but it's not a, it wasn't a garment. I'll insert a clip of it. It's not a garment, so I thought that was the wild card. But it has to be something that's essential. So if I don't have it and I don't use it, it can't be considered essential. So for me, my essential has got to be my trench coat. Um, I say the trench coat because I've made two. Yeah, I have a black and white and I have a red. So I've made two trench coats. And every, should I say fall, yeah, every fall or early spring, I wear them to work every day. So my red one is just my go-to, my essential. I wear it every fall and early spring when it's still cold, a light jacket is needed. That's what I wear. Uh, the black and white one, I think I landed with yellow. That one is more my, um, my casual piece. If I'm going on the road and I'm wearing like leggings and like sneakers and a t-shirt, I just grab it on. Um, if I'm wearing jeans or anything like that and a shirt, I grab it on. So um, my trench has to be my essential. Um, and I say essential wild card because you don't wear it every day, but
but for every season that um, it's, it, it's needed, I can definitely pull these on. Sometimes I forget I have other coats like uh, my leather jacket or stuff like that, they're short and I can just grab them on to work. But these for me are essential. They're comfortable and the colors I made just fits with everything else. Either it gives it a pop or it tones whatever I'm wearing down. Thinking of making another one, but it's not this one. It's the yellow one that's on my cutting table right now that I'm working on and I uh, should be finished with it as soon as possible. So yes, those are my top five essential handmade garments that I live by. So that's it for this, this week in my top five essentials. Thank you very much for watching and I appreciate you. Have a good day. Bye.